So the first house is on a street called Bobanzia, and it's a two flat right now. It's listed at 535, built in 1903. It's being sold as is. You never know what that means. Could be terrifying. Don Ovin! Hey, hey. What do you think of our little diamond in the rough? I've been walking by this house for a good year, wondering uh, when it was gonna be on the market. I love the brick. Love the A-frame. Obviously, it's dated. The windows are a mess. The awning is awful. The glass block is disgusting. But as far as just the initial feel, it's super cute. And I love this. I mean, you don't get this a lot, where it's just sunken down little patio. So this is the original level of the city of Chicago. The Chicago Fire didn't make it out to this part of Bucktown. So they raised the entire streets and all the infrastructure in Chicago to make up for everything that burned down. So you get this submerged area in the lots. I kind of love that. Love the brick. If we can save that, that's what I want to do. Windows have to go. French doors here would be awesome. Yep. I'd love to do an outdoor floor down here. And then it's all about curb appeal. Having something like this in this neighborhood is potential. That's all it is. Everything around it has been developed. Houses on this block sell for 1.5 million and up. It's kind of a gold mine. All right, let's look inside. Okay. Oh, wall right in your face. Love the ceiling height. Yeah, good ceiling height. Carpet. Gross. Trim's great. Casings. That's a big base, too. That's your standard two-piece Chicago base. You see that in so many of these old Chicago buildings. Yeah. Dining room. Again, trim everywhere. Not a bad space. This is vintage. This is what I never understand when we go into the houses anyway in Chicago. So beautiful wood floor. Let's put a sticky laminate tile yep. to cover it, but let's make that laminate look like wood. Right. Makes perfect sense. Okay, this has to be like the powder room. No. <laughs> this is the worst powder room. Honey, how's it going in there? Do you know how long we would be married for? One minute. Hold on, let me get you some salami while you're on the pot. <laughs> Oh my God, look at this kitchen. This is like beyond dated. Look at this. <laughs> Who doesn't want their dishwasher on the other side of the island? This is gonna be a single family. This all comes out. In Chicago, you have these 100-year-old homes that used to be a single family that were then converted into a two-flat. And you see a lot. As a two-flat, you're limited. You know, you're squeezing one whole house, so to speak, into one level. If we're gonna make any money, this has to be a single family home. So we're not keeping any of this. We're taking this thing down to the brick. All right, let's go take a look upstairs. Okay, this needs a little bit of work. <laughs> In order to even make this house work, I need to get a master suite up here, two more bedrooms, and another bathroom. Really, our two options are we can go ahead and dormer out the sides of this attic to add the ceiling height needed for the bedrooms up here. Yeah. Or we could rip the entire roof off. We're gonna rip the roof off. Okay. We're gonna rip it right off. Let's go check out the basement. Okay. Anything that we can save that's beautiful and historic, we save. This is not historic. This is prehistoric. <laughs> home sweet home. I definitely want to keep the doors, any of the solid core to reincorporate in the house. Done. All right, we'll put these out back. And then in the kitchen. Let's get the lowers out. Give me a little tap tap. These are old school cabinets. They're metal cabinets, metal drawers. I really want to save the lower cabinets. They're in great shape. And if I don't use them on this house, I'm definitely going to use them on one of my others. I don't want this counter on top, so that's fine. Just to bring something old into something new. There we go. Spread out pretty clean, actually. Demo on this house is a tight fit. The goal is we have to keep our three walls. We're keeping the fascia of the house because I don't want to take away any of the character of the front of this home. The sides, we're just building up. So with a big machine clawing at it, you risk taking down those walls. Well, right now, they're just getting anything loose on the roof off. The machine's gonna get fired up. We're gonna come in from behind and we're gonna start up high by taking the roof down. And the goal is to try to get the home to collapse in. We did cover neighboring homes with plywood to make sure because to have debris not hit neighboring properties is impossible. These old chimneys are all masonry chimneys. If they weren't to remove it, it would break off at the roof and it would just come flying into the other properties and that can get going pretty quick. There's a lot of momentum, cause a lot of damage. Okay, here we go. Taking the roof off. Here it comes. The roof comes off. We're building up, and the sidewalls stay the same. Everything's coming apart pretty easily. Oh that piece is oh. close to the neighbors. Oh, oh god. 
my goal with this property is to give this old house some life and some love on the inside while keeping the old structure of the outside. The first floor will be an open concept living space with a sitting room, dining area, a kitchen with a massive island, floor to ceiling cabinetry, family room with a fireplace, and a powder room. On the second floor, the former attic will become a giant master suite with a walk-in closet and a huge master bathroom. Down the hall will be a bathroom and two secondary bedrooms. Finally, for a little extra living space, the basement level is going to have a sunken outdoor patio that will be the perfect place to relax and enjoy the neighborhood. When we got down to the three walls, the framing was all rotted. It just began to crumble. My suggestion is take that wall down to the wooden beam, take out the beam and start on the brick and work with the other. When I look at it, I mean, I think I agree with you, but I want to look at it. The most important thing is I don't want to leave it to where the point where it looks unstable. So just take it down. The plan from the beginning was to keep the side walls and the front facade. We got the bad news on the inside. That's what we knew going in, but not everything goes as planned. So it's just a huge, huge letdown. Something that you just don't expect. You don't expect your house to come crumbling down. Demo did not go as planned. The thing didn't hold. The good part, we've got all the brick right there. All of this is gonna be salvaged. So there is some good news here. It's gonna take a lot more labor. I mean, you've gotta scrape all these bricks, so it is gonna cost more to save them, but I can salvage that brick. Okay, update time. It took two full weeks for the weather to warm up, but as you can see, we have made a ton of progress. We are completely framed. I'll walk you guys upstairs. And as long as the weather holds up, we should definitely be putting the roof on in a couple days. Fingers crossed. I better watch where I'm walking. <laughs> Move this thing. All of my cabinets are on this back wall and then a nice big center island. So you'll have your formal dining room here and then you'll be able to sit here at the island. So it's a great floor plan. We mixed the finishes too, so we kept a really nice dark grayish brown here and then we're doing this glaze on a white. I think it's just gonna be a beautiful, very open floor plan. I'm sanding a portion of the floor so I can figure out which stain I want to go with so I can keep things moving. These are two of my favorite mixes. So I like to get a gray and a chocolate brown mixed together. Let's see what we're working with here. This is a red oak. Not gonna really sop it up as much as I want, but the grain in here is just beautiful. Right now it's a little too orangey, too brown. So we're gonna dye it down a little bit with the gray. Pete Dono? Yeah. Grab me one of the doors. Okay, I'm in. Jacko Bean it is. Love it. Right now, I'm gonna get started on the powder room. This is the new tile I selected, kind of a crackle finish, so it gives it that antique look. Nice neutral gray tone, I love it. I think it's a great backdrop. This is gonna go up three feet. And then, I'm tying in my antique glass tile that I found at Urban Remains. Whole theme of the house, new, old, there's a story behind it, and I just love how we're incorporating this. It's a really cool talking point for anybody who comes to visit your home. And I just think it's gonna be a gorgeous finish. Hi, guys. Hey, how are you guys? Good, good, good. Ooh, this oh, looks nice. We got everything. Door, side light, mantle. Donovan hasn't seen the door yet. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Okay, so this is the original on this side, and then we did the black for the exterior. I like the black. Cool? Looks good. <laughs> okay, you like it all. Just come on. I like the inside. It looks nice. Okay, it's a and then the look. black on the front for the side light. Okay. Right, let's get them in. Right. You gonna carry one too? I'm not carrying anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the door and side light first. We're good to go. Where's the jam? I don't have a jam. So you, okay. I thought it was gonna be in place when I brought this. No. When we buy a new door, it comes pre-hung with the jam. When you buy a vintage door, it does not come with the jam, so it's a lot more work. I'd have to go back to the shop and make a jam for everything then. For the side light too? Side, yeah, all together. Okay. Hopefully the mantle goes a little easier. Ho ho ho! I mean, come on! It looks great. This looks like it has been here for a hundred plus years. All hand carved. I mean, look at this detail. You don't find stuff like this. No. And if we did make something like this, this would cost a fortune. I would charge you a fortune. I know you would. <laughs> I love it. Give us a few minutes, we'll anchor this to the wall, and then we'll put the top piece I on. I think it's awesome. See if this fits. 
always measure twice. It's a good fit. I love it. It really makes your eye go all the way up. It makes the ceiling seem even taller than they are. It looks great. I know that I was uh, not totally believing you. I don't know what he thinks I do all day. But now that I see it in place, you guys did a great job. Thank you. I, uh, I feel this one, I, I get it. You're feeling it. Yeah. Guess what? Spring has sprung, which means another blizzard. I spent the entire morning making sure the countertop guys could deliver. Oh my God, that's huge. I'm so excited. Do we deadlift here? Love it, love it. Today could have been a huge disaster. Had no chance of getting these countertops in, and then they came through, and now I have all my countertops. There's been so many ups and downs with this project, and finally, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We got awesome news, they made an offer. It's for 1.375, which is honestly an awesome offer. So it's now way more real, and uh, even better news, they want to leave the cabinets, so I'm not painting them. With a hard offer on the table, we've got to get this build finished. Because the deal is contingent on the homeowner signing off on the final product, and the sooner we can show them the finished space, the sooner we can close. So countertops go down, backsplash goes up, we're making a ton of headway. What I love about this backsplash is everything. So durability on this countertop, and then you just have that wow factor on this backsplash. We get our initial cut on the bottom here, set this ledger, and now we've got a clean, clean start. You excited? <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Look at this. Alice, <laughs> it's amazing. your new house. Can you believe it? You're home. See your room up there? It's up there. That window turned out amazing that it's so big without any panes or anything like that. Oh, I can't wait. I love the curb appeal, the door, mix of the old and new. Oh, it's so beautiful. You did a great, great job. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh, my God. Welcome home. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Gorgeous. I love it. What do you think about the old door, this old window side door. light? I love the little letters. The mail side. Yeah, yeah. This is your first impression. Yeah. And I feel like that's what really makes this house look old. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. It's a brand new house for you guys, but it's got all of these old elements yeah. that you brought in. And you just mix it in with this brand new yeah. open floor. Even the bricks on the outside got the old Yeah, kind of those look. are the old yeah. brick. Yeah. And then, booyah. You can see everything, it's fantastic. We did the sitting room up front. Yeah. You could do window treatments if you want. I would leave this thing open. I love the openness of it. Yes. I love it. I was afraid that this would be too small, but it's perfect. It's very fluid. Yeah. You have everything all in one. I love the kitchen. I love that you can see the kitchen yes. right when you walk yeah. in. More casual, impromptu dining at the island, bar stools. If you're just doing breakfast or lunch, yeah. and a nice dining table and really opens it up, but you can use it for both. Yeah. I think this is perfect. Something a little bit more formal, but yet still family yeah. style like we are. <laughs> <laughs> then when we come into the kitchen, everything's open, and this island yeah, is this massive. Turn yeah. So nice. This is a manufactured stone, quartz products. that still gives you that veining, so it looks like marble. Right. And low maintenance, right? So you don't have to worry about anything, hot pots and pans. Red wine, so solid, so nice and long. I'm so glad that we ended up trusting you <laughs> and your instincts and not painting the cabinets white. You were 100% right.